Hey everyone, it's Reagan and welcome to the start of another weekend reading vlog. The countdown is officially on. Uh, it's T minus one week until Clay and I leave for Scotland and we're so excited. So that means for this weekend, we're gonna take it easy, kind of get, you know, some errands done, get everything situated to leave on Friday, uh, but also just kind of like hang out and do some fun things. I actually do have plans tonight. I'm about to leave to go meet up with Monica for some dollar oysters. Hey, and enjoy the nice weather because the weather this weekend is actually super, super, super nice, um, which is great. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. But for the most part, I think we're just gonna go to the movies, get dinner, like keep it nice and simple. That being said, I do have some reading plans for the weekend, which I am gonna show off. Not gonna lie, I'm a little undecided about what my <laughs> next book will be after I complete the book I'm currently reading, but let's talk about it. So here are the books I have um, on the table right now. So this is the book I'm currently reading, Keeper of the Lost City's Lodestar. I'm on page 400 of 670 something. So I only have about 277 pages of this left. Definitely gonna finish it this weekend. This is the book I definitely know I'm going to be reading. I'm loving this so much. This is the fifth book in the series and it's just so great so far. I obviously started in my last reading vlog. Oh, hello, Matilda. Okay, take a seat. Um, I'll just go around her. Uh, and so I definitely want to finish it this weekend. But from there is where I don't know what I want to read next. So I have Billy's <laughs> in the way and it's making hard. It's hard. So these are the two books I'm deciding between. Either of them I also think would make great Scotland reads. So I feel like whichever one I decide not to read, I'll definitely bring with me to Scotland. The first one is Once Upon a River, which is an adult kind of magical realism, historical fiction, dark fairy tale-esque uh, book that is set in the UK, which I just also think is great. And then next is The Missing of the Clodder Loon, which was, is the sequel to A Winter's Promise, which I read last year and really, really loved. So I don't know which of these I'm going to read, but I'm definitely going to pick, I think, one of these two book up next. So those are my reading plans for the weekend. Excited to get quite a bit of reading in. I'm having a pretty strong reading month so far in the month of May, so you definitely want to keep that going, but I am now going to get ready to go. Uh, here's Matilda uh, to get oysters with Monica, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, but I do have to go catch a train. So it's time for me to bounce. Bear with Monica. Oyster time. Oyster time. Not it's summer. summer. Yeah, I know. It's a rip off <laughs> here. And just in New York City in general. <laughs> But don't worry, we ordered much more. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. We're getting some very exciting ice cream. I forgot to vlog it in its original state. It was really cute. It had like rainbow sprinkles, okay. a stick, and a photo. syrup. It was great. It tastes great too. Hi everyone, I am back home with Matilda. It was so much fun catching up with Monica and eating that delicious ice cream. I really want to articulate that it was great and super cute when I first got it and I was so excited that I just started eating it. <laughs> Didn't vlog it properly, um, but next time. But now I'm home, Clay should be leaving work in about 45 minutes, so I've decided I'm going to read during that time period. In full transparency, I very rarely talk about this on my uh, YouTube channel just generally, but I figure because I'm in the thoroughs of it right now, I'm having um, pretty bad anxiety at the moment. So I wanted to say something, so if I'm a little weird, that's why, but I'm gonna go fight it uh, and go do some reading. I think that'll really help play some music and just kind of relax and unwind. Um, plus, I'm really loving Keeper Velocity's Lodestar, so I think this will be the perfect thing that I need right now in this moment. So I am gonna go do that and hang out with Miss Millie too. So I am, like I said, on page 400. I don't know how many pages I'm going to be able to read, but I'm gonna to try to read as many as I can. Then Clay's gonna come home and I think we're just gonna hang out around here tonight. There's this new, oh my gosh, I'll talk to you more about it later, but there's this new, well, it's, my, well, it's kind of new. There's this new stop motion um, series that Netflix did with those very famous Japanese characters of the bear, the little lore bear and the chick. I'm gonna, oh, what's it called? Rai Lakuma and Karu. 
It's incredible. I watched the first two episodes last night and it was the most peaceful, soothing, but like heartfelt thing I've watched in a really long time. So I'm gonna make Clay rewatch the first two episodes with me um, and just watch it in general because I think he'd really, really like it. Uh, and then I don't know what we're gonna watch. I have like my weekday shows, which are like Hunter x Hunter and the shows I watch without Clay while he's at work. And then we have our weekend shows, which um, we've basically finished. So we need some like new shows. So I think we're trying to figure out we want to watch next we're thinking possibly marvelous miss Maisel, but tbd but anyway just wanted to check in i'm gonna go read and listen to some music and read keep up the last city's lodestar which i as i say i'm really liking and i'm gonna put some like comfy clothes on though i do love this dress but i feel like wearing sweatpants now so yes those are my plans for the evening Hi friends, I've changed the pajamas and I wanted to just do a quick reading check-in because I've read 80 pages and I'm feeling great about that. I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna try to read over 100 pages before Clay gets home. Um, but yeah, ugh, I, I'm a broken record. This book is great. I mean, I really, to say, I could never have anticipated the plot growth we got or in continuing to get in this series is just so great. But more than that, the thing that honestly is my favorite are the characters. They're just so lovable and huggable. And not only are the friendships so great, I think there's so many great parental figures from, um, you know, just like adults that kids can rely on from various parts of their life, from like positive teacher role models, positive like uh, family friend role models, positive parental type role models and things like that, which I also just feel is rare and maybe it's because i read a lot of ya and i feel like parents are never very present in those series but it's just so nice to see like different types of healthy helpful parent type or adult type relationships with growing up kids which i just really enjoy and i also like how all the adults never talk down to these kids they're always trying to understand them but also like provide guidance and just trying to pr let them know like why they do things certain way or like why they're overprotective is because they in fact want to protect them because they love them or they care about them etc etc so i just really appreciate that element of the story as well just the characters there's such a large cast of them and they're all you just fall in love with so many different people oh i said a such a good job but i'm gonna get back to it i'm trying to get to page 500 tonight um which would be great I also did a chunk of reading on the train to and from meeting up with Monica. I read 50 pages of Elantris. So if I'm able to get uh, to page 100 um, uh, tonight, plus that I'll be 150 pages in for the weekend, which I feel really solidly good about. But I'm gonna get back to reading now, but I did wanna pop in for a reading update. Officially have passed the 100 page mark of reading tonight for Keeping the Lost City's Lodestar. So, I only have about uh, 170 pages left, which is a very doable amount. I read this book super fast. This series is a very fast read. Another element that I'm really liking, just especially in the past couple of books, is they're really expanding the world. And what I mean by that, they're like going to different lands. There's lots of different creatures, like obviously our main character Sophie's an elf, but there's goblins and orcs and humans and everything like that, gnomes. So there's like other cities as well, like capital cities and kingdoms and politics. So it's really fun to go to those cities. I keep saying the word city over and over again as well. But yeah, I'm liking this book a lot. I'm a broken record, but I did read 100 pages plus 50 pages of Elantris. So 150 pages tonight. Really pleased with that. Good reading start for oh, the weekend. I am sleepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I might be able to read a bit more, but I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep watching Netflix, so we'll just have to see. But I am pleased with what I have read, so I can rest easy. Look who's home. <laughs> and what are we about to watch, Clay? Vanderpump Rules. Reunion, let's do this. Millie is hype. Y'all ready for this? Hi everyone, good morning. I am still 100% in my PJs. I literally woke up like 
15 minutes ago. Um, but I've come out to the couch area, opened the blinds. It looks to be a beautiful day outside of New York City, um, which is always lovely. Uh, Clay and I do have plans for later today, like noon, <laughs> later today, in like three, four hours. Um, we're gonna go see Detective Pikachu, which we're both so excited about. If you didn't know this about me, I love Pokemon so much. Uh, I have played, beaten every Pokemon game since the very first Pokemon game. It's just always been something super close to my heart. It's just like my, I don't know, I love Pokemon so much. I'm so excited for the new Pokemon game coming out this fall. Anyway, I'm rambling. So Detective Pikachu, we're going to see that today. Super pumped, Clay's also really excited. So that's our like midday activity. We bought tickets. Um, Clay is taking Matilda out right now, but he has a haircut this morning before the movie. So I figured I might just take it easy. I was thinking about maybe filming because they're not constructing things this Saturday morning, which is a shock. Um, but I also feel like I might just read instead and then just do all my filming tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to film ahead right now because I'm going to Scotland, so I'm trying to film like a couple weeks ahead so I'll have content while I am abroad. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions if I'm vlogging Scotland. The answer is yes. Uh, maybe one or two vlogs, the whole thing. I just don't know how much content will come out of it. Um, so, but I'm definitely vlogging it and we'll be sharing that trip on here. Hopefully we survive. <laughs> oh man. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to check in, say good morning. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I think I'm gonna put some music on and I'm just going to read. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still feeling a little bit anxious. I just cannot kick it. But I think going to the movies will be good and reading and just relaxing a bit this morning will be great. Probably shouldn't have caffeine, but like I need caffeine to be awake. So it's, it's, that's, that, that's the struggle, isn't it? If you're an anxious person who also is coffee reliant, oh boy. Uh, anyway, I am going to do all those things now. Um, so pumped for Detective Pikachu. <laughs> and um, gonna read. I only have 170 pages of this book left, so I'm really trying to finish it. Uh, this, maybe this morning, who knows? Set, setting lofty goals for myself, um, but maybe I'll film, we'll see. But I'm gonna go do all those things. Okay, goodbye. Coffee is starting this morning. Exciting times. Look at my very sad dad tulips, but I am gonna put on a playlist to read to right now as well. Enjoy my morning. Do you guys like my latte art? I call it abstract. Look who's back from getting his hair done. Looking fresh to death. I also got changed because we're gonna head out to the movie soon. This is what I'm wearing today. My shirt has um, oranges on it, which I think is really fun. Great news though, I was able to read 70 pages of Keeper of the Lost Cities um, and I'm almost done. That means I only have 100 pages and I also have this giant stack of books here. Because I'm uh, prepped to film a video today too once we get back from the movie. I'm going to film a Pokemon inspired book tag. Uh, I was just so excited about the Pokemon movie. I figured might as well generate some Pokemon related content as well. So I found a really fun book tag um, that's been going around booktube for the past couple of years. And I'm going to do it. There's a lot of questions though. So um, I have a lot of books to get through for that video. So that is also what I'm going to film today. And then, yeah, I think Clay and I are just gonna hang out, do some reading, eat some dinner, eat some dinner, do some filming, and uh, just kind of enjoy our weekend and relax before we head out to Scotland, where we're gonna be very busy for a long time. So um, we're about to leave for the movie, but I did want to let you know that I did read those 70 pages, and I only have 100 pages left, which I'm so excited about. And I feel like I've decided I want to read the missing uh, Claude Raloon next because I've just picked it up and I've been staring at it since it's come in the mail and I just want to read it next um because I loved the first one so much so I'm gonna get to the sequel today hopefully finish it before we leave for Scotland and then I'll read Once Upon a River but yeah I just wanted to check in and let you know that filming is happening but first movie which I'm so excited about. Clay are you excited about the movie? I'm very excited. Detective Pikachu. I think this movie is my dream as a child. I think so too. Let's do Pokemon, but real. Yeah, but real, like a world where Pokemon are just like existing. Mm -hmm. Could not yeah. be more excited. I also think because it is weird, like to me, 
I'm just like sold into it, you know, before going in. Like, I already feel like this could be the most terrible movie of all time, which I don't think it is. It's fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, but I would love it anyway. Millie's just chomping on yeah, this Yeah, Millie, until they got a new toy. Rosé for summer, you know. It's all she drinks. It's all she drinks. Summer water. But yeah, I think this movie could be terrible and I'd love it anyway, but I'm so excited for the weirdness of it and the darkness of it and the deep voiced Pikachu. Like, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. And then we should watch, we should watch like Pokemon 2000 today. That might be fun. Did you get that? Uh, remember when you went to, went to see Pokemon you get 2000? The, free card. The, the gold one though. Like the that solid from, gold. That was from Burger King. Oh, is that how I got that? Yeah, it came in a little peek of uh, a Pokeball. They used to give that out at fast food restaurants? You had to buy it, it was probably like five bucks. Oh my God, those are the coolest things ever. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that you didn't get that at the Pokemon 2000. Regardless, I had both. I really wish I still had that anyway. Uh, okay, okay, we're gonna go now because we've got to get there in time uh, and order food and such because we're going to a place called Alamo Draft House, which they do like food and stuff there, which is my favorite. I love Alamo Draft House. We've arrived. I'm going up these escalators. You excited, Clay? It's so loud. Thanks, Alamo Draft House, for the good time. We've come into Target to go look at some chairs. We figured while we're here, let's see if we can find something, because we're still on the quest for chairs, wouldn't you say, Clay? Here we are. We're home, and I figured out something. Matilda is Pikachu, everyone. Pika Pika, Millie. Pika Pika. Also, we did not find a chair in Target, but we did buy paper towels. Like adults. They had literally like one chair. I have performed a quick change. Clay and I are gonna take a quick photo, take a quick walk. That's a quickness involved. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and finish Keeper of the Lost Cities. Oh, well, actually, I'm gonna come back, film my Pokemon video, and then I'm gonna read. Uh, but first, photo time. And we're back again. So now I am gonna film and then I'm going to read and I'm gonna have all the reading updates for you. I promise. Um, I don't know why it's so dark in here. But uh, yeah, so I think we have, yeah, I have just over two hours to film and read. And then Clay and I actually have dinner reservations at a really delicious restaurant that we both really love. Um, so we decided to make reservations and just, you know, have a good time. So doing that, and then we are meeting up with some friends in the city later, uh, after dinner, which I probably won't vlog for that. But then, tomorrow, on Sunday, we will be prepping for the season finale, or not season, series finale of Game of Thrones, and I will be doing all the reading. <laughs> what are you doing, Clay? You're so silly. Uh, how do you feel about Game of Thrones, Clay? Honestly, I think it's a good show, but not a great show. Such a huge build up to a somewhat unsatisfying ending. Retweet. Just finished filming, which means I am gonna now read. I'm gonna put some, oh, look at my other glasses. Sometimes I just misplace a pair of glasses and then I just find another pair and I put them on. But I'm gonna finish Keeper of the Lost Cities, um, Lodestar, book five of the Keeper of the Lost Cities series, which means I'll have read 276 plus 50, like over 300 pages, which I am really pleased with so far for the weekend. I think that's a really good start given that I'm gonna be spending a lot of tomorrow reading. So I'm gonna sit on this chaise right here. Oh, no, I'm gonna sit on this chaise and read book five. That's gonna be so full of spoilers. I mean, isn't this the one with uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of That's not even. That's not even the right Harry Potter reference. I got a new headband. Do you wanna show it off, Clay? You look, hats. Yeah, and you look great. You look great. 2019, baby. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I finished. I read the last 100 pages of Keepers of the Lost Cities, Lodestar. I can officially confirm my favorite book of the series so far. Oh my gosh, I need the, sec sec the second one. I need the sixth one, ASAP. It's getting so good. Oh man, the twists and turns of this book at the end were just flawless. Oh, the settings, the negotiations, like it's this book series is only getting better and better. It's also so charming. I love so many of the characters, but I particularly love Keefe so much. Um, let me know if any of you guys have read this and if you're a Keefe fan, because I am. Yes, okay, again, best book in the series so far. I would highly recommend this. I mean, each one has just increased 
in quality, in scale. There's like emotional stakes. There's like plot stakes. The Shannon Messenger is not scared to go to places in terms of like, um, like character development, but also just like putting people at risk, I guess is a good way to describe it. Like, I'm so nervous for all of my favorites. Um, but I loved this. I'm so happy I've read this. And I'm also happy that I've read over 300 pages so far for this weekend. Oh, but this book was so good. Definitely five out of five stars. Um, I am now gonna get changed for dinner. We have to leave in like 40 minutes and we're gonna put Southern Charm on, which is back on TV. Me and my Bravo shows. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get ready now, but I wanted to check in and let you know but I finished this and I'm definitely gonna pick up the missing of the clotter line next. So I'm gonna probably start that tomorrow is my feeling. Um, but hey, maybe I can read almost 600 pages again this weekend, which would be amazing. I'd be so proud of myself, but okay, cool. Yay, I'm like living, I'm like living for it. I'm, I'm on a high right now, a reading high. It was a great book. I read a bunch. It, I just want to immediately read the next one, which I don't actually own. I randomly have one through five and seven. I don't have six, so I need to get six ASAP. Um, okay, cool. Yay. I just want to do this check-in. Toodles. Matilda is very comfortable right now. She loves this blanket. And again, sitting on the chaise. This is where girlfriend lives now, forever. She's like, do not bother me. It is Saturday, it's day of rest. It's happening, Southern Charm. Millie's here too, so excited. We are about to head out for dinner. I changed into a very simple outfit. I was inspired to wear my new headband after I saw Clay modeling it, so I literally just threw on my same jeans and a white t-shirt and uh, wearing my little, my little earrings, so. Oh, and I'm wearing contacts. I really like my new dailies. I used to so rarely wear contacts, but I have been wearing them so much more often now that I switched the style. They're just so comfy. So I've been through those on as well. So new contact Reagan in the house. Tuna, tartar. Got a steak and fries. They got mussels. <laughs> good morning, everyone. My glasses are like, going up because I'm wearing a headband. I shouldn't even say good morning. Clay and I have been so lazy. We've just been sitting on the couch. Um, but I figured I needed to start vlogging today because we're it's, it's the day. It's like almost noon at this point, but we have just been spending the morning watching New Girl. I've also watched a lot of YouTube videos, which was great. But now I'm drinking a coffee. Cheers. And I am going to start filming. I'm going to try to film two videos this morning um, to get ahead and get things situated and going. By the way, always taking video recommendations. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know. But that is the plan for this morning. And then I'm just going to honestly read. And Clay, we have Game of Thrones tonight. I'm very, very excited. It's I'm, all going in. I'm scared. Well, there's going to be a prequel now. That was yeah. green lighted. I had no I, idea I think about there's that. There's several of those. Yeah, though. there's gonna be like lots of series, which is kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. And apparently George R. R. Martin's gonna be a lot more involved in the prequel. He's a good writer. So oh. I almost dropped, dropped the, camera. the camera. All right, so I am going to stop vlogging and start filming and then I'm gonna start reading. Matilda is also very excited about this Sunday. She's excited to be starring in the next Game of Thrones prequel. I don't know if we guys told you that, but she's actually the lead. Clay's never been prouder. Also, all the flowers I showed off in my last reading vlog, which was last weekend, are dead. So, they still beat me at life, but their life was definitely, as I said, fleeting. Alrighty, about to start filming. Ignore that, just look how great this looks. Don't look at that, this looks great, that's bad. All right, I have officially finished filming. Clay showered, shaved his little baby face. And as a reward, I'm gonna go get some smoothies and run some errands. Clay wants to go to Urban Outfitters. Why, Clay? I wanna see what the kids are wearing these days. <laughs> yeah, he was like, let's go to Urban Outfitters. Like, I wanna, what are the trends? I'm like, what, gonna wear a fanny pack to, with your suit, Clay? <laughs> TB Dizzle. <laughs> TB Dizzle. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get smoothies, go to Urban Outfitters, uh, do a little stroll, and then I'm gonna come back and read. I've already prepped 
the next book I want to read it by taking off its dust jacket. So I plan on sitting here with Matilda who is unable to keep her eyes open on the chaise and reading for multiple hours. But first, Smoothie and Clay's trend search. So we're gonna we're gonna run out for a little bit. But yay, happy to have been done with filming. Boop. And um, excited to get a smoothie because that sounds really good. We've acquired the smoothies. Don't spill. Clay's getting some sunglasses from Warby Parker. Looking swag for the summer. Got some cool new shades. I know you can't see them. It looks like just shades and nothing else, but I promise there's frames. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was happy because Clay's eyesight's perfect, so we've got to go into Warby Parker and he yeah. could just leave with something, unlike he was me. was like, need a prescription? I was like, no, perfect vision. <laughs> so now we're on our way to Urban Outfitters. And we're here, just like that. Let's go figure out what the kids are wearing. And we're back. I am now gonna sit over there on the couch and read for about an hour. I'm gonna play some music, take a little bit of a break, edit, because I wanna get ahead of editing before Scotland, and then I'll also do a reading update. But right now I'm gonna play some music, as I have been doing. Reading tip that I've discovered for myself, I'll sit down. Actually, I won't, <laughs> I'm rifling. Um, something I have started doing the past month or so is, um, listening to music, which is something I've always done while reading sometimes, but listening to music basically makes me put my phone on the other side of the room because I hook it up to a speaker, which means I can't just like randomly decide to check it after I finish a chapter or something. So I have discovered that this is my new like trick to myself trick. Um, it has cut down on my like phone interruption time while reading so much. So I would definitely recommend playing music and putting your phone far out of reach a try um because it's really been working out for me so i'm gonna do that right now play some music and start the missing of the clotter loon is that how you even say it i don't know but i'm really excited so i'm gonna start that right now reagan my natural habitat <laughs> fell asleep reading a book <laughs> hi friends i've awoken from my nap uh but i wanted to do a quick update and that I've read 50 pages so far I'm gonna continue to read my goal is to read 100 pages then take a break to do some editing in this exact same spot <laughs> um, but I wanted to tell you my thoughts so far this book is basically taking place exactly where the first one ended it's just so good it's like it's so unique um, it's basically set in a world where I mentioned that they're kind of like on spirals and each spire kingdom in a way place uh, there's like this family spirit, which is where the origin of everyone who lives there um, kind of gets their ancestry, but also their like magic. So our main characters has moved to this new spire and it's like freezing and desolate and like wintry. It almost has this like Russian pork, pork, court politic vibes. Um, and it's just like absolutely ruthless. And the magic there is really interesting. Like some people can do like illusions, etc., and it just adds so many interesting elements. Uh, but just like watching our main character try to navigate through it is amazing. I really love her, and it's just like such a fascinating world, and there's just, I have no idea where it's gonna go next. I also think it's just like so unique. So, I'm gonna keep reading, gonna get to page 100, then I'm gonna swap to editing, and then uh, maybe watch some TV, maybe have a snack, and then I think Clay and I are gonna go out for pizza. Not order pizza, we're gonna go out for pizza. Clay's like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get rectangle pizza. Yeah. Who needs squares nowadays? Circles, more likely. Oh no. Also, for anyone wondering, Matilda was here. Hey, Millie, you wanna look at me? You wanna show up your beautiful smile? Yep. All right, so I've officially read 100 pages of The Missing of the Clotter Loon. Liking it a lot so far, as I already said. Um, oh, it's just such interesting character dynamics. It's just so unique. But right now, I'm going to start editing. I'm gonna try to edit two videos and then I have a bit of a snack too. And by snack, I mean peanut butter pretzels and Hershey Kisses, super healthy. Um, Clay and I are gonna go out to dinner, an early dinner tonight. I think we're gonna get pizza and it's gonna be delicious. So I just am trying to be productive, get my reading in, get my editing in, and then I think we'll probably come home and just Maybe start a new TV show or just relax and then prep for Game of Thrones tonight. So I'm gonna do that. I feel like I got lots to do. So I'm gonna go and do those things. <laughs> One video down. So I just imported the footage to my second video. So I'm gonna do that right now. 
Clay is packing for Scotland just in case he doesn't have time post work this week. Don't do finance, people. <laughs> <laughs> but I have finished editing. Yay! And what are we doing now, Clay? We're gonna get some pizza. Yeah, we are, and it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. No, but it's a it's a restaurant. <coughs> Hold on, dying. All right. I'm back. I resurrected myself. We're going to dinner now, which is what I was trying to say before I just got attacked by the cops. Um, so yeah, quick din, and then I'm gonna come back, probably do a bit more reading, maybe watch Project Runway. I think I'm gonna pick up a coffee. Ooh, a five o'clock coffee. I'm so rebellious. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So the pizza place was closed for our party, so we're getting Tex-Mex because we're stereotypical Texans. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Salsa. Yes. 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 We are home. We picked up lattes. It's like 6.30 at night, but you know, coffee forever. I am so full of Tex-Mex. I think I'm going to sit on the couch and do some reading and try to read more of this. I'm definitely trying to read over 200 pages, trying to read 250 to be exact. I've already read 100, so I'm trying to read like another like 60 or so pages. I think I'm also gonna walk, relax and just kind of watch some TV because I really haven't watched any TV today except very early in the morning. So I've really just been reading or editing or filming. So, you know, I'm trying to put some of that in. I wanna watch um, Project Runway. In fact, I think I'm gonna watch Project Runway right now. Then I'm gonna read. So that's the plan. My hair's looking crazy. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful outside. Clay and I just like walked around our neighborhood for a good 45 minutes. <laughs> Just taking the long way to everywhere because it's just so nice. Man, I'll tell you what. One thing I've learned about the Northeast is, or even Chicago for that matter, winters suck. But spring is amazing. Like 60 degrees and sunny is just impeccable. And it's not like we didn't have this weather in Texas, but it's just spring is basically summer and so is fall. We don't really have those like real seasons and they're so nice. I can see why people choose to live in a cold place because these seasons are so nice and then summer obviously is fun as well. So just like just a whole new appreciation for those seasons anyway. Um, so I'm gonna watch Project Runway right now and drink my latte uh, and I will check in. Millie and I are watching Project Runway. She's lounging, big fan. It's like an exciting time. Hi friends, wanted to check in. I just finished Project Runway. It was a really good episode. And then I read 40 more pages of the missing of the missing of clotterline moon yeah i'm saying that right it's a very peculiar title and ah uh, guys i'm liking this book so much i think i'm like getting into it faster than even the first one i mean obviously the world and the politics are already pretty established but it's just and i feel like a broken record but it's just such a unique world and particularly we're learning more about these like family spirits slash their gods slash their own unique thing but they have like missing memories and I don't know it's a very strange very fickle they have a lot of power particularly in the kingdom that our main character is in how the court and their society like reacts and is centered around these power um centered around this like god spirit thing is just a wild time especially because he is such a flawed thing seemingly so anyway and it's just great I'm loving it so much I so I've read 140 pages of this. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I'm gonna do a face mask to kind of prepare myself for the Game of Thrones finale and then I'm gonna read a bit more um, and try to read up until Game of Thrones is on tonight. So that is my plan. Hoping to still read 250 pages so I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm gonna go shower, face mask now. I am so beautiful. Or do I look like a serial killer? Millie, are you scared of me? Oh no, she wants to eat it. Why am I not surprised? Okay, I'm gonna read and prep the skin for Game of Thrones. Millie, quit trying to eat my face mask. <sighs> She's a fit. She's fit. She's an athlete. I only raise athletes. <laughs> We're about to start Game of Thrones. I am hopeful but not optimistic about the end about the ending what would, what would be your feelings going into the series finale i hope i can be satisfied with the ending do you feel like that will happen i think i can be moderately satisfied 
I haven't hated the season. I just moderately think... satisfied. <laughs> I haven't hated Game of Thrones. Hashtag moderately, moderately satisfied. satisfied. I mean, I haven't hated the season, but I, I just think the motivations and the everything just the feels character like a rush. development does make a lot of sense, yeah. or the lack of character. Honestly, moderately fine. I would take at this point, as long mm -hmm. as they just don't totally destroy it. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Exciting expectations, time to get started. Millie is ready to win. Game of Bones. Game of Bones. We finished Game of Thrones. Obviously no spoilers, but I feel like I'm like medium. Mm -hmm. But I think part of it is because I didn't have super high expectations going in. So it's like, it wasn't like the bar was set really high for them to like come crashing down. Like I had pretty like low medium expectations going in and there were some things i found satisfying some things i found okay like i can buy that and some things i'm kind of like what um what about you clay moderately satisfied with where the show had left us at the end of the second last episode i yeah. think they did about as good as they, they could do. have done yeah i think that's a good point. i think the ending is good in the sense of it definitely is like an ending mm-hmm which for that I can appreciate like yeah trying up a lot of loose ends can be difficult and there was uh, two particular endings that I found to be very good mm -hmm. but then I don't know there's gonna be some really funny memes that come out yeah. of the season <laughs> yeah I'm already seeing them like crop up on Twitter which like grateful for um, it'll be interesting because the prequels coming out and I bet there's there's also talks of like other spin-offs and Clay and I have been like theorizing like what those possible spin-offs mm -hmm. could be. So that'll be interesting. I also just think there's a lot of cool HBO shows coming out. Mm -hmm. Just in general. I'm really excited for a few of them, mm -hmm. but besides the point. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel. I think like part of me is like an like a positive person. So I just like want to just be excited. Like yeah. I'm, I'm I, like, I feel like you and I can relate like we just want to enjoy things like it's not fun to hate stuff I'd rather be happy than disappointed yeah and maybe that's me me putting up blinders a little bit but I think I'd in at least terms of a fantasy show would like to put up blinders you know yeah but then at the same time it's like you if we can't we have to be able to like be critical critical it's almost like someone reviews stuff <laughs> for the most part I would say like I enjoyed my experience I'm not going to be that person who's going to petition them to rewrite it, but I think there are definite elements that hopefully will be resolved when they redo the show again in 50 years. Yeah, okay. less than that. Less than. If George R. R. Martin or Brandon Sanderson ultimately, who will, who finishes all unfinished fantasy series, when those books are done, because they will be finished by somebody, they'll they'll redo. But anyway. It should be interesting. I definitely think they'll redo it once those books are eventually finished. Full Metal Alchemist? Well, Alchemist was Brotherhood. That's what I made. I made that comparison. It's like, Full Metal Alchemist was good, but then when they ran out of the source material, it wasn't as good, and then they came back with all source material made FMB, and it's amazing. I have been spending so much time on Twitter, and I realized I never really gave you guys an update about how much I have read. So before Game of Thrones started, I was able to get more reading in and I read up to page 200 which is exciting so that's great I am going to try to read a bit more before falling asleep it is definitely later than I was planning on going like second round of reading tonight but I'm gonna try to read maybe like 20 or 30 pages but I do have to go to bed I do have to go to work tomorrow but Game of Thrones Twitter just sucked me in I just love like reading and seeing everyone's reactions to everything it's so entertaining so that's what i've been doing and i need to stop so i'm going to read now and get some more um some more pages in try to get to page like 230 tonight i'll be very pleased with that all right time to read time to go i'm running out of time hey everyone it's reagan and welcome to the end of the vlog the next day i wanted to show off um, all the books I read, which is what I normally do. I don't know why I phrased it that way, but overall, I am really pleased with how much I was actually able to read this weekend. Um, I felt like I did a kind of a crappy do job vlogging last night because I just got so caught up in Game of Thrones. I apologize, but hey, Game of Thrones is no longer around to do that again, so a positive note. 
I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the books. First thing, I did read 50 pages of Elantris on Friday during my commuting. Um, I'm really liking this book. I think I'm officially like just over halfway. Hoping I can finish this this week. Um, during my commutes back and forth. Uh, if not, I'll bring it with me to Scotland because it's just on my phone. So it's a really easy thing to have whilst we're traveling around. So really liking this a lot. Honestly, there's a component of this book that has been haunting my nightmares. So basically it's about this like damned city of Elantris and people are sent there and they have to live this very grueling life. It used to be this really powerful city, but now something has happened where people are cursed. There's a component of it where if you go there you basically like wake up and you have this like disease and you're, you're sent there and then once you enter the city if you're injured in any capacity it doesn't heal so if you stub your toe you live with a sensation of that pain forever and all of those injuries like add up and basically the fear is like once you injure yourself enough even if they're really small over time like you'll begin to lose your mind anyway really dark concept that Brandon Sanderson thought up and I have been having like these really deep dreams where this has been happening to me so you know that's impacted my life from there I read the last 276 pages of Keeper of the Lost Cities Lodestar by Shannon Messenger loved this book so much favorite one of the series so far I've gone on at length about this series so I won't talk about it anymore but I didn't want to let you know the page count um I love it favorite one I love Keefe for life immediately bought the sixth book so flipping good um and then finally i read 250 pages of the missing of the clotter loon uh by christelle davos this is such a unique story again another book i've gone at length about but i wanted to show off what it was i read but like this book so far is definitely meeting and exceeding my expectations and kind of opening the scale of the world a bit more it's just so peculiar in a way that I love. So let's talk about the, so 526 plus 50. Oh, hey, I read 576 pages this weekend, which I'm really happy about. I've already read four books this month. I'm in the middle of two. And then, so I'm hoping I can even fit in one more for a total of seven books in May. I feel like I just jinxed myself, um, but I'm gonna try. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog and I'll see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.